There's no going back. By the end of this video, you'll run every pivot chart and pivot table from data and Excel tables, I reckon. There are massive benefits to running pivot tables off of data stored in Excel tables. Before we go on though, what on earth is an Excel table? Right, well, just to clarify, it's not a pivot table and it's not a data analysis table. It's simply a collection of data that Excel can refer to as a table and that will open up a whole load of additional features and benefits to you. And to turn something into a table, you go on the insert menu and you hit table. As long as you're inside a collection of data, it will make an assumption about where that data is. Basically, you hit OK, this is now a table. And you'll see that we now have a table design menu, all of these whole new bunch of features opened, plus a new right click menu associated with tables. Immediate one click pivot tables. When you hit, there's a button on the data design menu, summarize with pivot table. Hit it and look at the selection for your pivot table, the table name. And we'll just hit OK. And this, of course, you might have clocked on. The fact that it's picked up the table name means that any new data on that table is going to automatically feed the pivot table. And this is crucial and this is a massive error trap that people fall into with pivot tables. They highlight the range that they want to pick up and then when new data comes in, they don't realise it's not picking up the new data. So this is an amazingly useful feature and like I say, one click, straighten the table, summarise with a pivot table. And if I put on uh, this, you know, 2024 and the uh, customer name, no, let's just put on, say, the product name might be a bit shorter. Then when I put on new data, it'll automatically expand. So let's just prove that to you here. We've got some new orders here that I'm going to put on. I put them onto the bottom of this. Not only did I only paste in what you can see here, it's automatically put in my totals and subtotal and versus prior year formula that I happen to have on here. Put a whole load of other stuff on that. This pivot table now, let's just have a look where the bottom is. Uh, so it's at 672. And I refresh it, and you'll see new products that came in are automatically added, and I didn't have to do anything other than a refresh. So there you go, automatic pivot tables and dynamically referenced and updated for you without any kind of effort. Another time saver. And I have a bonus for you on pivot tables as well if you're using tables because you can actually create relationships between different tables can totally save you having to do any kind of lookups and bringing all your data into a single table. So for example, if we go onto the um, data menu and click relationships, we can set up relationships between these tables. So I'm going to pick the table which is orders and I'm going to say right that the customer ID relates to the on the customer table, the customer ID. I hit OK. All right, and that's created that one. And then let's do another one because we've got a product ID. So we'll say that the um, order table for the product ID is related to the product table product ID. I hit OK on that. Right, so our relationships between tables have been created. So now when we go on table design and hit summarize with tables, uh, summarize with the pivot table, we pick the same table as we did before. 
And you might think, well, not much has changed, except for, if we go down here, you'll see we say more tables. If we click on that, do you want to create a new pivot table? Yes. We now have access to all these linked tables. And because they're linked, we can put into our pivot table with our orders. So we could just say 2022 orders. And we can now use our customer segment, for example, to break that down, even though customer segment wasn't even in our order table. But because we've linked it, we can do it. So we can have, um, which we didn't want product name, did we? So maybe we want customer segment as our comma column. And we now have product category as our row. And we have a whole new sort of pivot table kind of access system based off of linking those tables and creating those relationships. So that saves a massive amount of time because to do that normally, we'd either have to go down the Power Query route and link the tables together, or we'd have to put in some sort of lookup formulas and pull all that table data together into a single table. So just by creating these relationships, we can access all the data and we can run multiple different reports from are different tables of data and summarize things in different ways without having to write a single formula or go through learning any kind of new tools like Power Query. If you want to get impressive results the fastest way in Excel, make sure you subscribe to this channel and have a look at these recommended videos too.